Hi guys, I am here with your stable I told you I'd be back with. This one is called the Eagle and the Arrow. Here's the picture. It's hard to see because it's a lot of brown. But here's the eagle's face and there's the arrow. He's been shot in the heart. So let me read the story and see if you can come up with the weird um, moral to the story is. Because some of them are really strange. <laughs> like the story. I'm not used to reading them like this. I'm used to like the nursery rhyme kinds that end in happy endings all the time. A lot of these you can't even really figure out. <laughs> But let's see what this one says. An eagle sat perched on a lofty rock, keeping a sharp lookout for prey. A huntsman concealed in a cleft on the mountain was looking out for game, spied him there, and shot an arrow at him. The shaft struck him full in the breast and pierced him through the heart. As the eagle lay in the agonies of death, he turned his eyes upon the arrow. All oh, cruel fate, he exclaimed, that I should perish thus. But how much crueler still that the arrow which kills me should be winged with an eagle's feathers. The arrow was made out of eagle's feathers. Wow. And it killed the it killed an eagle. So what do you think the mis or what do you think the moral to the story is? Misfortunes to which we ourselves contribute are doubly bitter. Because the arrow was you know, made from an eagle when it killed an eagle. So that's like really, really sad. And a weird coincidence. Alright, the next two fables I'll be putting together again. And this one is called The Rooster and the Jewel. And the Frogs Desiring a King. That sounds interesting. So I'm going to stop this video and upload it. And then I'll come back with these two for you.